Good morning. As y'all know, I've been moving for months and months. <laughs> and the real digging, I guess, began in Smithville when I was cleaning out the Smithville house. Um, which I can hardly even say the Smithville house without getting a little choked up. Because it's gone now. I hope people love it and don't tear it down. I don't know. Anyways, that's not even what this subject is about. This is about all the stuff that we collect over the years. And I have just been finding stuff on top of stuff. Good stuff. Some stuff that was a, a little disappointing. Um, my kids were always giving me stuff. And this is just the Haley stack. I don't know if it's all Haley in this box. I'm going to find out. But I have stacks from the other kids. They were just, you know, years apart. So the stacks got dispersed into different boxes. I've got boxes in there. We're going to get a filing cabinet. But there's still going to be a good, probably a bigger one of these. And I need to get all the kids stuff into one box. And it's a process, I'll tell you. Look in this box, there's even some incense, which I'm sure has come from my ex-husband, who likes to give incense. And he loves, and as much as he is a butthead sometimes, he loves Christmas and birthdays. Look, this is from when I was a kid. One of my favorite books. The whole series, of course. And just, I got a whole tub to go through. And it just made me think of people and families. Because um, one of my last videos about family, you know, uh, one of my subscribers, a good friend of mine now, uh, said it was his grandson's birthday. And he talked to him on the phone. And, you know, life is just too short. Look, this is a postcard from a friend of mine. And it was probably, let's see. Brianna is now, how old are you, Brianna? 30, mid-30s. I could tell you in a minute. She's born in 84, I do know that. I was there. But yeah, this is from a friend. Back before I was Tony Orsack. You know, I was Tony Rad first. That's who I was first. And then I was Tony Annis when I got married the first time. And then I was Tony Orsack. And then I got divorced and was supposed to change it back. And I just never did. But, uh, yeah, that is a postcard I saved from a good friend of mine. We waitressed together at Denny's some 25-odd years ago. And I'm still carrying it around because it's such a cool postcard. And what was this? I mean, this is from Haley. I want her to see that. I'll take a picture of it and send it to her. Because it said she wanted to be a pie maker when she grew up. I think we forgot about that. And she sent me this. Your color and my po like my color equals love. It kind of looks like it equals a storm cloud, doesn't it? <laughs> but to mommy, happy birthday. Just it's just everywhere. And this is just like I said, Haley. I've got boxes. Don't worry, kids. I got boxes of your stuff too. I mean. Life is hard. It was tumultuous. Um, my son went to live in Iowa with his father after a few rough years. I think he was 12 when I finally agreed and put him on a plane. And my God, that was an awful day. I had to put my boy on a plane and say goodbye. And I did not get any more school pictures ever. All I heard was awful things. Um, it was a really rough time. But, you know, I, I'm not saying that to be depressed. Look, it is a last will and testament that I've never filled out all the way. <laughs> I carry around with me. Wouldn't do you much good with it. I've got some Saturday evening post pictures that my mom gave me that I really want to get framed. Because I love Norman Rockwell. Let me see. It's hard to do this with one hand. Oh, do you remember this one? Yeah, I've got three of them. I would love to get frames for each one of them. 
And the frames will be more expensive than the pictures I've been carrying around forever that were free. So, yeah, just... Oh, I think maybe this was Ronald. And there's Ronald. I tried to save some of everything from everybody. Family is important, y'all. And we love them all. And I'm going to continue to go through this box and maybe not watch murder anymore. It's making me a little sad. Buried in the backyard is what I've been watching. That's pretty awful. All right. And I will go through this stack and probably put it all right back in the box. <laughs> I did throw one piece of paper away I found. All right. Um, Y'all take it easy. Kiss your babies if you can. If you can't, call them on the phone and say hello. Even if they act like you're bugging the crap out of them. Who cares? That's what you're there for. All right, y'all. On a roll. Take it easy.